Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 63-year-old male who injured his thigh water skiing. He's got pain in the back of the thigh in the region of the hamstring muscles, and the doctor thought they may have a tear, and indeed they do. So this is a view of the thigh. This is called a coronal image where the top is here, bottom is here. We can see the knee joint down below here. This is the knee, and if we slide the patient down, this is the hip up here, so we see the whole thigh. This is called an axial view, where we're slicing a short axis through. We can see the back of the muscles here. You see that brightness? That's where there is tearing of the hamstring muscles. And here's the front. These muscles up here in the front look okay, the quadriceps muscles. Nice and dark and uniform, and this is the bone, the femur, to get oriented here. And now this video is really to go over the muscle anatomy. It can be really hard sometimes when we do just a proximal thigh. Uh, when we see a tear of the hamstring tendon to know which muscle it is. It may not even be that important, but uh, I think a lot of us really struggle to find out, you know, what muscle is that? The semimembranosus is the semitendinosus, is the biceps tendon. And so this video is going to show the anatomy on the curl and axial views. And we're going to go up to the very top here. This is the ischium. If I go to this coronal view here, we see this is the ischium. The part here is called the ischial tuberosity. This is where the hamstring tendons attach, and this whole dark band here is the hamstring tendon attachment, starting way up here, high lateral, and wrapping down here, more inferior medial. And on this axial view, we see the dark band here. Over the top of the bone, here's the bone, and this is the hamstring tendon origin. Now, in this cut, very, very high up here, we see this part, this more rounded. It's in the high lateral part. And this is the semimembranosus, and it looks like the semimembranosus starts laterally up high, but it's going to end medially down low. So it's going to start up here, and it's going to end over here on the medial side. So it's going to cross over, and on just the opposite, on the medial side, we're going to get the biceps tendon. It's going to cross over laterally over here. So the biceps is going to end up being over here. So you can think about them crossing over each other. Now, this patient has brightness up here on the lateral side approximately and has a bright signal on the uh, medial side distally. So this is the semimembranosus muscle. Uh, the distal muscular tendon junction is torn, and the muscle belly is contracted backwards a little bit here. There's hemorrhage surrounding it. You can see the muscle coming down. And right here, it's irregular and retracted. And this is that hemorrhage and edema. So this is the semimembranosus and it is distal medial. And over here, approximately, we have, looks like the biceps. As the biceps tendon is torn and the muscular tendon is junction and muscle belly are retracted backwards. Hemorrhage and edema surround that. You can see it's not normal orientation. And now we're going to just take a quick glance here and see um, the anatomy. So here's lateral up high. We're going to follow this dark structure. And it should go medially down low. This should be the semimembranosus. So we're going to follow it down. And whoops, wrong direction. Let me follow it again down. There it is. There it is right here. We're going to keep following it down. Following it down. Here it is. Following it down. And you can see how it switched over from lateral. Now here it is right here, that dark band. And this is the muscle. So this is the semimembranosus. So you can see the semimembranosus is the most medial muscle of the thigh. Distally, and right here, this brightness is the tear, the ruptured muscular tendinous junction. And we're going to follow that back up. We're going to see, again, it's going to cross from lateral to medial. So the medial, um, I'm sorry, from uh, medial to lateral here. Here's the lateral origin and then the medial attachment. Now we're going to follow the biceps, which is the opposite orientation. It's going to start most medial. We're going to come up here to the very top again. Here's the medial side of the hamstring tendons. We're going to follow that down. Over here, we're going to see it switched from most medial. It's going to cross over really quickly to be the most lateral structure here. And then right in here, we have that tear. And there's the hemorrhage, edema, and this is that muscle belly that's retracted down. And there's the tendon right there. And there it is. So we have the most medial, most lateral sides crossed over. In the middle, we have the semitendinosus. 
which pretty much stays in the middle here. This is the semitendinosus. And that's it, a quick little lesson in anatomy of the crossing over tendons. They're going to start and end opposite. The semimembranosus is going to start lateral here, and it's going to end medial here. Thank you very much.